Hey guys, it's Devin, and today I am going to do the princess tag. Basically what this tag is, I'm sure you guys have seen a million and one of them, is you pick all of your favorite high-end products for each category on your face. Um, now what I consider high-end is like Chanel, Dior, Bobbi Brown, uh, which I own absolutely none. I own like an eye gel. That's it. Um, you know, stuff like that. And while I do have a few um, high, high-end products, what I would consider high-end, um, a lot of people doing this tag are using what I consider mid-range products. So I thought okay, well that'll be a lot easier for me to find because there's a lot of categories where I don't even have anything that I consider high-end in that category. So, um, I used mid-range mid -range products. So I'm just going to go ahead and start out and I'm going to start with tools. Obviously that's one of the most important things <laughs> that you can do other than skincare. Um, my favorite high-end tools, and I don't really know if they're high-end, I guess they're like mid-range to me, but we're going to say high-end for the sake of the princess tag, are the Sedona Lace Brushes. This just happens to be the 928 flat top kabuki, not really kabuki, but flat top brush, and um, this is comparable to the Sigma F80. I don't personally know that, but I know multiple people that have both, and they say that it is the exact same thing, and Sedona Lace is cheaper and Sedona Lace is cuter so that's why I don't own any Sigma because I'm perfectly happy with Sedona Lace um, so yeah that would be my favorite high-end tool would be you know the Sedona Lace next we're gonna go with we're just gonna go with what I pull out of my bag because I was gonna go in order like as I apply the stuff to my face but that's not gonna work out because that's like at the bottom of my bag so next we're gonna move on to blushes and I have a cream blush and I have a powder blush now my cream blush I'm sorry if I shook you guys my cream blush is the Illamasqua I don't think anybody does cream blushes as well as Illamasqua that I have. I have Tarte, I have Trina Tarantino, which is amazing. I have um, MAC, I have some lower end blushes, but Illamasqua beats them all. This is the cream blush in Rude, which is just a really pretty, like, coral color, and I love it. Applied with a stippling brush, they're amazing. So, yeah, definitely a mascara for the cream blushes. And for the powder blush, I have to go with, look, I still have it in the cute little packaging because I'm a weirdo like that and I save that. Um, the Dior Rosy Glow blush. Ooh, that's dirty. It has fingerprints all over it. Um, this blush is just so amazing. It looks like it's really, really, really bright pink. It's not. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but, I mean, it's just amazing. If I have any doubt as to what blush I should wear with my eye look, my lip look, etc., this is the one I go to because it just, it transforms into the perfect color for your face. And it looks different on everybody. I've used it on my mom. I've used it on my daughter. It looks different on them than it does on me. So um, it really does transform to suit each and every skin tone. I highly recommend this. I know, sorry, I know it's a really, really expensive blush, but it's amazing. It is worth it. Okay, so powders. I have one high-end powder that I really, really enjoy, and it's really not like a setting powder. It's a mineral powder that I use for setting powder, and it's the Laura Mercier. Number two uh, foundation powder is what it's called, and you can tell that this has been very well loved because it has a huge dent in it. I really, really enjoy Laura Mercier for face products. I think she does them kind of like nobody else. I mean, she does a really good job. Um, okay, lip gloss. I have one Holy Grail lip gloss, and that's my Buxom. I love Buxom. I prefer them over any of her lip gloss that I have. They are just amazing. They're a little bit tingly, not too bad. They come in so many different colors, and 
they're pigmented. So you can go without wearing a lip liner. You can go without wearing a lipstick. I do not have a lip liner in here because, to be perfectly honest, nine times out of ten I don't wear lip liners. Every once in a while I will wear a lip liner, but the majority of the time I just don't, guys. I mean, I just don't. I have plenty, but I don't wear them most of the time. Okay, so next we're going to do bronzers. I have a cream bronzer and I have a powder bronzer and my cream bronzer is, surprise, surprise, the Soleil, whatever, the chocolate, not chocolate, that's Too Faced, the Bronze Universal cream bronzer from Chanel. I really, really enjoy this stuff. It's the only cream bronzer I have, I think, and it's the only one I feel like I need uh, because it's just really, really good. And then, surprisingly, my powdered bronzer that is my favorite is my Kat Von D, Shady Business One. I love this. It's not a matte bronzer. Um, if you're going from, if you want to know my favorite matte, it would be the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. That's my favorite matte bronzer. Um, but I could care less if my matte, if my bronzer is matte or if it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And in fact, I kind of prefer the ones that have a little bit of shimmer in it. I feel like they kind of blend in better with the rest of my face. And this one is just amazing. The, it's, I have a lot of bronzers, guys. A lot of powder bronzers. And this one is the one I reach for time and again. A favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, apparently now we're doing lipsticks. I couldn't decide uh, between my high end lipsticks. It was so, so hard for me to decide because um, my Lancome lipstick is the most expensive lipstick I own. I believe it was like $28, $30. It's the most expensive one I own, and I really, really enjoy it. I love the Lancome lipsticks, but my next high-end lipstick, uh, price-wise, is my absolute favorite, and it is my Illamasqua lipsticks. I will eventually buy a ton more of these because I really, really, really enjoy them. Um, this one is in Fable, which is just a really pretty pink that I hardly ever wear because I don't really do pink, but I have it nevertheless. And then this one is amazing. It's a Drench, which is kind of like a raspberry red. Oh, it's super beautiful. Love those. My favorite actual lipstick at the moment is the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks, but I don't consider them high end. They're only $22. I have a freaking gnat flying around me. Ugh. Anyway. Um, so, I guess I consider, like, these high-end, even though they're, like, what, 28 or something? Wow, that's a huge difference from 22. Anyway, I'm kind of off my game a little bit today. My head is, uh, not working like it should. <laughs> okay, so... My favorite liquid eyeliner. I don't prefer liquid eyeliners. I prefer pencils, without a doubt. But my favorite liquid eyeliner is the MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. This one happens to be in Signature Blue. It was from, like, the Fabulous Feline Collection or whatnot. But um, I think out of all my liquid eyeliners, this one is my favorite. I really like the tip of it. Um, it's kind of one of the harder harder like kind of felt tip tips. I just really like it. It moves at the bottom but the rest of it doesn't really move and I like that. Um, it's just it's my favorite one. It's the easiest application for me. So that one is definitely it. My favorite I have my favorite okay here is my favorite non-liquid my pencil and it's the Urban Decay. This is just a little mini in mildew, but the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On eye pencils are the best, without a doubt. And I've tried a ton. You know, I have MAC, I have Tarte, I have a lot. Stila. Stila's is really good, too, though. But the Urban Decay ones are definitely my favorite. Okay, favorite brow product is the Lancome Le Crayon Padre Whatever. Mine's tiny because I've been using it for so long and I'm almost out of it. And this one is in the color Sable. And I couldn't use this one when my hair was lighter because it was too dark. But it's got the pencil on one end, the spoolie on the other end. And this is an amazing spoolie, guys. This spoolie I've been using since I had the pencil and it was a full-size pencil. And this spoolie is still very much intact. Um, 
I, I could probably continue to use this fully long after this is gone. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing that. I love that. And my favorite like setting thing for my brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is just a little mini that I got in Ipsy a while back. And I can't bring myself to buy the full size one because I'm almost out of this one. So I just went and bought some of that um, Clear Maybelline Great Lash stuff to put on it. That's nowhere near as good, guys. I know it's less expensive. I know it's whatever. It's nowhere near as good. But I'm going to use it because I don't want to drop $22 for one of these. Or $18 or however much they are. So, there's that. Okay, my favorite foundations. My favorite liquid foundation will come as no surprise. And it is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This has completely beat out my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I tried to wear my Estee Lauder Double Wear a few weeks ago. And... No. No. This, that one doesn't even compare to this one. This one is just amazing. I love it. And my favorite mineral powder, which that's really kind of how I've been preferring to do my foundation ever since the beginning of summer. So months and months and months and months and months. That's how I prefer to do it. I mean, I'm not saying I haven't done liquid and I haven't done like uh, the BB cream with the powder over it because I have. But I feel more comfortable when I'm in a mineral foundation. Like today I have my bare minerals on. But normally I am using my Laura Mercier. I do prefer it over the bare minerals just because I feel like it has a little bit better coverage. And I feel like it doesn't, like I feel like the Bare Minerals maybe, at the end of the day, I'm a little bit shinier than I am with this. So, um, I love this one. My color is in Real Sand. Love it. Love, love, love it. Um, I have a couple more things. Okay, favorite um, concealer. I don't really have a concealer um, because I don't really use concealers. I use an under eye brightener pen from Maybelline, which is my favorite. Um, I was going to put the YSL Touche Claw in here, but I didn't want to do that to you guys because while I love the YSL Touche Claw, I'm almost out of it and the Maybelline is better. I will not rebuy the YSL Touche Claw. I will rebuy the Maybelline. It's just as good. So, um, what I do set it with though, set any under eye concealer I use with, is the Benefit Powder Flage. I love this little booger. I got it during one of like the Ulta Beauty Day thingamadoo last year I believe and I love it it's amazing if I do ever have to use concealer which I haven't used concealer in months months and months and months I feel like if I have to use concealer my foundation isn't full coverage enough and I'm gonna get a better one that's really kind of the way I look at it um, but if I have to use one it's gonna be the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer or the Tarte Amazonian Clay like stick concealer which I don't have because I ran out and didn't buy another one because I don't use them. Um, but those would be the two that I would recommend. Then I've got just a few more things in here. I, you know I was really thinking that um, this was an awful lot of stuff compared to everybody else's but I, used, I did everything I do on my face. I just did more than one product. Um, my favorite primer for my face high end right now is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I really like this, you guys. I'm not going to tell you that I recommend it yet because I've only been using it for about three or four days. But as far as high end primers, it is the favor my favorite one that I've ever used as of now. So there's that. Favorite high end cream shadow is the Makeup Forever. Um, I really, really enjoy these, although the Maybelline color tattoos are just as good if you're on more of a budget. This one is in the color 13. I really love these. These are amazing. Um, favorite powder shadows, I did, I could pick just one. I did like a brand in general, and then I did a palette. So, my favorite palette is going to be no surprise, it's the Lorac Pro palette. Not Lorac, all Lorac shadows, because I haven't really tried any but these. Um, but this is my favorite favorite eyeshadow palette. I feel like if you're going to get one, if you only have the budget to get one, that's the one it needs to be. But my favorite overall eyeshadow brand is Urban Decay. And I just brought out the my Oz Great and Powerful Glinda palette. Um, I have the Theodora one too, but I just brought this one out because it was closer. 
this whole brand in general does amazing, amazing shadows. You just have to kind of be careful when you buy their palettes because a lot of times they'll repeat colors. Except for in the Vice 2 palette this year, there are absolutely no repeats from previous palettes. So, you know, there you go. That one's amazing. It looks amazing. It's my favorite holiday palette available right now. I need to get that in my life. Um, okay, two more things. Favorite high-end mascara is the Lancome Hypno Star. I got this as a sample in that kit from Sephora. I love it. I won't repurchase it because it's like $30, and I feel like I can get mascaras at the drugstore for eight or nine that are just as good. But as far as if you really just want to go buy a really expensive mascara, this one is my favorite, and I've tried them all. I've tried the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, the Tarte, the Benefit They're Real. This one is the best one I've used. And I've heard Lancome has really, really good mascaras anyway, so there's that. Last but not least, highlighter. No, this isn't the last thing. I have one more thing. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Highlighter. The Mary Luminizer from The Balm. I have a lot of highlighters, but I just really, really like this one for some reason. Um, I just keep going back to it. It's a really pretty, like, champagne-y, candlelight color. It's just really nice. Last, but certainly not least, favorite. I'm putting this in the setting powder category, but when I hauled it, I, ta I talked to you guys about it. It's not a setting powder. It's not meant to be a setting powder. It's not meant to make your makeup last any longer than it normally would or to set your foundation. I went on a whole spiel about that because so many people were saying that's what it was, and it's really not. And if you really, really want to watch a good video on this, I told you then and I'll tell you now, watch Josh Collier's video. It's amazing. He explains them in detail detail really goes into what they're used for. Dustin Hunter also did an amazing video on them. So, with that being said, it is the Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass in Diffused. I use this every single day after I've done everything else on my face. Highlighter, setting powder, foundation. After I've done all that stuff, I use this. It's amazing. I can't recommend them enough. I cannot recommend one of these powders enough. So, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if any of you want to do the princess tag, I would love, love, love it if you would leave it as a video response. And I will definitely watch it. I really enjoy watching these kind of videos. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. And I will see you later. Bye.